Welcome to 3-Minute Thoughts. So, saw the Tomorrow War yesterday, which comes out today, time travel. Just want to give a quick review of it, which is, it's okay. It's an action movie, definitely an action movie. It's got the sci-fi premise of time travel, which they give a hand wave explanation about. There are so many, it's basically the T, the Terminator franchise view of time travel. There's paradoxes. They don't really explain away the paradoxes. They don't care. But they do give enough information and they address enough stuff so that people are like, if you have casual questions, are answered. That's cool. Lots, again, it's an action movie. Lots and lots of action. Chris Pratt, I expected him to be more more funny. He's just likable. Eh, that's okay. I love all the, uh, the secondary characters. I feel they were all well done. They do go through a lot of secondary characters. It's a, it's more of a war movie and a war survival movie than than a sci-fi or anything like that. So a lot of characters do die, but there are characters who survive. But they do a good enough. They're not. They're all still well fleshed out for the scenes that they are in. They're not just disposable characters. I was a bit disappointed with the aliens. They're they're well done, and they do seem like a threat. And they're described as a threat, and they like how they wipe out everyone in like three years, the whole planet. And the first scene you see them in, they just mow down this this platoon, this, this squad, really quick, like in less than a second, like the whole squad's wiped out. And then I never see them achieve that level of viciousness. They're they're vicious. They take out people and they swarm, but and especially because they are swarming, that's why they should be more vicious. But the humans seem to have a well good chance of fighting them off every instance after that. Even though just a few humans survive, they still seem to do a lot better than than expected, than 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 the way it should be. There were parts where I questioned their logic and how they did things. Like there's one point in which they've got the the queen type alien captured and. The queen summons all the minions to come and get her. And they're like, let's kill the queen. And like, no, we can't because we only have one of this vial. I'm like, you've got bullets. The The whole solution is to make this toxin, which does kill them. Bullets also kill them. Explosions also kill them. The toxin seems not as effective in my view because, yeah, because they have to inject it in for it to kill them. If you're going to have to inject a toxin in, it's just as effective to just use bullets or explosives. If it was a gas, then it would make more sense to be for them to be excited about the opportunity of using this this toxin. But it's not distributed as a mass weapon. It's distributed as an individual weapon. So it falls apart with that. I will say it is a bit disjointed because it feels like at one point the movie is going to end. And then it's still another half hour afterwards for the third act. And that was a little bit of a, of a stretch. Overall, though, yeah, it's good. It's worthwhile. The time travel stuff is, again basic. Paradoxes happen. They don't explain them. Those are my thoughts. Thanks.